um, today we're back again with we're back with uh, Conrado, our head Muay Thai coach, uh, here at Monarchy, and he's going to help me uh, report today's video, which is going to focus on defenses against the headlock, the side headlock, or the sort of the typical bar room uh, headlock that you'll get yourself into, um, and we'll do a couple of escapes from this standing up and a couple of escapes where you're taking the fight to the ground. Okay? So, <clears throat> the very first thing is when you get caught in a headlock, the very first thing I want to do is get one of my hands on his arm so that I can take a little bit of pressure off my neck and I want to turn my chin towards his ribs. So now, really the only thing he's got pressure on is the back of the neck and one side of my neck but my windpipe and my carotid on the other side is free, okay? So this is the first move, and this is kind of a first step in any of these self-defense moves. This just buys you a few seconds so that you don't get yourself choked out, okay? So the first technique is a stand-up technique, and what I'm going to do on this technique is turn sideways. So go ahead, give me a headlock. Yeah. So I'm going to take, grab the arm, turn the head, and I'm going to turn my hips so that they're at 90 degrees to my attacker's hips, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to palm strike to the groin. I'm going to reach over his shoulder and I'm going to put my fingers in his eye. I, if he has long hair, I can grab his hair and pull it. In this case, I'm just going to use the pressure point under the jaw, and all I'm going to do is basically drive his head up and stand up. Once I stand up, I can strike in the groin, strike in the throat, and then take him down. Okay, do that from the other angle. Grab the arm, turn my hips, reach over the top, Fingers in his eyes, groin strike, stand up, strike to the throat, take him down. The next is also a technique that will allow me to stand up. What I'm going to do in this case is the same thing. I'm going to turn my head, grab the arm. This time around, I'm going to reach up, grab him on the shoulder. Here, I'm going to step back with this leg, he won't see it, and I'm going to drive my leg into his. Okay, that's the first part of the exercise. With this space that I've created, I'm simply going to bring this arm around, palm up in the air, and drive him backwards. Okay, this is one of those techniques that'll work really f better if it's done quickly. So again, the motion is grab the shoulder, pull the back, kick out the leg, take him down. One more time. Why don't we turn and go to the same way. So the next two techniques um, will be techniques where I actually take him to the ground. So this would be, again, uh, not my preferred way of defending yourself simply because unless you're really good at jiu-jitsu and even if you are and have multiple attackers, a ground fight uh, is, is less desirable than being able to stand up. In this case, same thing. I'm going to turn my head, I'm going to take the pressure off my neck here, turn my hips, reach up, grab his face, this arm slips underneath the knee, and all I'm going to do is sit down. Okay. 
And the last of the four techniques, same thing, turn my hips, grab his arm. This time all I'm going to do is reach across and basically hug him around the waist and sit down. Okay. The critical thing on this one is if you use this technique, as soon as he starts to fall, I have to release this hug, otherwise this arm will get trapped underneath him. So the technique is, hold on. Okay. okay great. Nice. So those are the four basic headlocks, uh, escapes that we use, two standing up and two where you can take it to the ground. Okay? Thanks.